Here are the Black Friday kills ranked point-wise. I already did my review on the movie. I already did the kills ranked uh, in my own opinion. That was subjectively. This is objectively. So <clears throat> we're looking at how bloody the kill is, how believable the kill is, how creative the kill is, how surprising the kill is, and how scary the kill is. And the categories can get from zero to five points. So there are 11 kills in here. <clears throat> at number 11 is Guy. Uh, he gets killed. Zero points for everything, because there's absolutely nothing about it. You don't even know how he dies. Um, so, yeah, moving on. Number 10 is Woman. Uh, um, uh, she gets crushed. She gets, uh... Crushed. One point for how bloody it is. There's some blood. Three points for how believable it is. Because she it, she didn't get crushed hard. Uh, it's just something fell on her. But it like wasn't from a, from a really tall height. So not that believable. Zero points for how creative it is. Because it's not creative. One point for how surprising it is. One point for how scary it is. So woman... Getting Crushed gets a total of 6 points at number 10. Number 9 is the first guy. First kill the movie. Blood splat. That's it. 2 points for how bloody it is. 4 points for how believable it is. Because you don't know how he died. But, uh, I mean, you did see a decent amount of blood. So, you can kind of guess he did die. 0 points for how creative it is. Not that creative. 1 point for how surprising it is. 1 point for how scary it is. So, first guy comes out to a total of 8 points at number 9. Number eight is uh, one of the workers, uh, one of the main characters. Uh, he gets flung through the air by the giant creature. Um, this is actually my least favorite kill of the movie, uh, but now it's at number eight. Zero points for how bloody it is, five points for how believable it is, because he went flying, and uh, I'm pretty sure that would kill him. Zero points for how creative it is. Three points for how surprising it is. It's kind of surprising. Two points for how scary it is. It's kind of scary. So, the worker gets a total of ten points at number eight. Number seven is Guy. Um, guy, uh, you already see him ripped in half. So, you don't see him die, but you see his, like, bottom half or whatever. Two points for how bloody it is. Five points for how believable it is. Two points... For how creative it is. It's not that creative. One point for how surprising it is. And one point for how scary it is. So Guy comes out to a total of 11 points. At number 7. Number 6 is... Uh, number 6 is... Uh, one of the zombie girls. Um, she gets stabbed in the eye. 2 points for how bloody it is. 5 points for how believable it is. 2 points for how creative it is. It's only a... Eye stabbing. It's not that creative. Two points for how surprising it is. Uh, it's not that surprising. And one point for how scary it is. It's supposed to be like a triumphant kill, so it's not scary. So the zombie girl comes out to a total of 12 points at number six. Number five is another zombie girl. Um, she gets stabbed in the chest. Um, three points for how bloody it is. It was pretty bloody. Uh, five points for how believable it is, because she gets stabbed in the chest. That'll kill her. Two points for how creative it is. Not that creative, because it's only a stabbing. Two points for how surprising it is. Uh, she's a villain. Not that surprising. And one point for how scary it is. Again, it's supposed to be a triumphant kill. It's not that scary. So, that zombie girl comes out to a total of 13 points at number five. Number four is woman. Um... Uh, a different woman. Um, uh, who gets a nail gun in the head. Uh, three points for how bloody it is. Uh, it was pretty bloody. Five points for how believable it is. Because nail gun in the head, that'll kill someone. Two points for how creative it is. Uh, it's not that creative. Uh, Final Destination 3 has another kill like that, so that's not creative. Two points for how surprising it is. Or no, no. Oh, yeah. Two points for how surprising it is. Two points for how scary it is. So, a woman comes out to a total of 14 points at number four. Number three is 
uh, zombie guy. Um, uh, uh, he gets stabbed in the neck. Um, this was a, this was actually at number two for me, uh, but now it's only at number three. So, uh, that is because he gets three points for how bloody it is, five points for how believable it is, two points for how creative it is, only stabbed in the neck, not that creative, two points for how surprising it is, and two points for how scary it is. Uh, again, not supposed to be a scary kill, triumphant kill, he's a zombie. So, he comes out to a total of 15 points at number three. Number two is zombie buff guy thing. Uh, the last kill of the movie, um, uh, he gets his head bashed in, uh, three points for how bloody it is, five points for how believable it is, three points for how creative it is, uh, two points for how surprising it is, three points for how scary it is, it was pretty scary. So, the zombie buff guy comes out to a total of 16 points at number two. But the number one best, most pointed, and my favorite kill of the movie is Anita. Uh... Uh, she gets something shot out of her neck by one of the zombies. So, three points for how bloody it is. Five points for how believable it is, because, of course, that'll kill her. Two points for how creative it is. Not that creative, because it's just something coming out of her neck. Three points for how surprising it is. And three points for how scary it is. So, Anita comes out to a total of 17 points as the number one best most pointed... Black Friday kill. Thanks for watching.